victim we want to catch ourselves rather than being catched by life. When you say don't you want to catch yourself instead of having life catching you? <clears throat> if I'm understanding your question don't you want to understand why you're in the relationship at the very beginning so you can kind of figure out what to do as opposed to just go in it, stay in it for two years and then when things are a complete mess then you're forced to ask why and you spend two years, you wasted energy, you wasted time, you wasted your youth, something like that. I wasn't thinking about a relationship. No, in general. Yeah, I'm thinking. Like, you know, let's say we all have been on this path and uh, we fall apart different ways. I would assume in some way we want at a point can keep catching ourselves and come back to the center instead of waiting when we hit the rock. Mm. The center is long ways away, getting. You know, by the time you reach the center, <clears throat> your age may be 40 or 50 or 60. Do you really want to sacrifice your youth for the center that may or may not be given to you? You know, people keep saying, well, I don't want to get into a relationship with anything. It doesn't matter until I figure out who I am. Figuring out who you are is waiting for you down the road like 20, 30 years from now. What are you going to do? Lock yourself up in your room for the next 40 years until you figure things out? And then what? You're going to look yourself in the mirror for 30 years. You have wrinkles. You know, you're ugly. You're tired. You're worn out, and then what? You know? Um, this is not meant to discourage, you know? You know, I think if you're interested in centering yourself <clears throat> and if it's a love affair that you have, I think you should just live your life and at the same time be mindful and be aware of, you know, the desire that you have, which is, I want to make sure I'm centered. Um, you know, and and... Live your physical life the best you can, you know, with the least amount of headache and trouble, if it's a possibility for you. And then have some time to sit, to read, to think, to make, you know, have conversations with your friends. Um, and then hope that 10, 15, 20 years from now, you know, the thing that you desire now, which is being centered, will be given to you at that age. And I think for the most part, if you live, you know, uh, not being too greedy and ambitious about the wrong things, you'll be centered. You know, I mean, look, uh,
this is not an advertisement for having children or for motherhood, but There is so much about Cassie that has changed since she's become a mother. You know, she is much more relaxed now. She is much more centered now. Uh, she has healthy distractions now. You know, it's something she wasn't able to do for, I've known her for, what, 30, 40 years now, Cassie. You know. She's always had intense ups and downs. Now she's a mother, and she's a wife, and she has a house to clean, and you know she has to cook and all that. <clears throat> you know, um, it's not that she doesn't think about the stuff, but they're in the background. And whenever these ideas want to occupy the foreground, and you know, turn her life upside down. She looks at Leila and she says, Do I really want to do this to her? And the answer is no. And so she's recentered. She devotes herself to her, her child, her husband, her family, and you know, in time everything will work out. This is not an advertisement for marriage or, you know, um, you know, having children. Uh, all I'm saying, getting is most of the good things we want in life, you know. Uh, you really have to wait for a long time, you know. There is no shortcut. Imagine you went to India and you found a bicep at the age of 30. And he tells you that relationships are no good. They're just a waste of time. That having children is a waste of time. That what you should do is you should go to his house every single day and sit there for hours. You know, have your job, make your money, but go there. But when you go there, what do you see? You know. He has a life, he has a wife, he has children. You know. He plays the politics of life. You're not, just, you're not going to just sit there and say, okay, I want God. You're going to be jealous. You want those things for yourself. It's really difficult to overcome, you know, some very organic, physical, emotional needs. The sacrifices are just way, way, way too much. And the trust factor is way, way too much. <clears throat> 